I just cleaned the puppy pad and they just gotten filled up from a good dinner from Rosie. And so they're all exploring their new clean pad. One of them already peed on it, but it's okay. We will take care of it. I have a lot of them because they used to give them to me when I'd come home from the hospital because I had night sweats, but I don't have them anymore. And so I have a whole lot of these pads, and they're very expensive, so I'm glad I have them. And as you can see, the puppies are running around right now trying to decide if they want to beat somebody up. Well, here goes Lizzie Lou. I tell you what, she is the highest performance one of all. So if you want one that is very high performance, then Lizzie Lou would be a good choice. Some of the others are pretty high performance too. But some of them are more laid back like Rosie and very sweet. They're all very sweet, but some of them are more cuddly than the others. Well, Rosie won't say I've got the bedroom door closed. I can see the boy up there in the upper right. He's starting to get hold of the fact that he's so big, and he's not as clumsy as he was before. And he's a really laid-back, sweet boy. But he doesn't take a single thing off his sisters. If they want to take him on, he will take them right back. But he doesn't really start stuff as much. He does like to play, though. Oh, Lord, getting Ellie Mae and Lizzie Lou together is something else. <coughs> oh, my. Here they go. Here they go. They're going to jump all over each other. Is it time to beat everybody up? They're just starting to do this. We were born January 22nd. Today is February the 14th. So that makes them almost three weeks old. Oh, well, I can't count. Makes them three weeks in a day. And we're going to start them on uh, their puppy food um, in the next couple of days. So we'll soak it in the milk so it's nice and soggy. The kind that we are using now, uh, I don't think we'll have to grind it up. It's small and it apparently tastes very good. We've been feeding it to Rosie because it's a really high nutrition one. Uh, we do not use pet food from the dog uh, from the, the grocery stores or the big box stores like Walmart or Target because they all start with corn. And if I want my dogs to have cornbread, I will make it for them, which I do sometimes. They like it. <laughs> if I substitute one cup of the buttermilk with a cup of spaghetti sauce, they just think that's fine. And each one of the people who get this, who get a puppy, will also get a set of dog books, which contains a very large book. These are e-books called Simply the Dog. Uh, and they will receive recipes for dog food and recipes for dog treats and a uh, a book on what is in the dog foods, the different dog foods. You just don't eat before you read that one because it's truly disgusting. For our um, grown dogs, we use Neutrino's River Run High Energy. Uh, it starts with chicken, and it has a lot of tuna and different kinds of fish. It's got the fish oil, and that's so very important for them. 
Uh, it's got a lot of protein. It's got the right amount of fat. And it does not base it, it on corn. Uh, it does have barley in it, which is very good for dogs. It has rolled oats. Oatmeal is very good for dogs. And you can always make your puppies and your dogs oatmeal if you want to. Just don't put any chocolate in anything because they cannot have dark chocolate. They can only have white chocolate. Oh my, looks like they're going to play for a while. But they're not really in high fettle right now because they just ate. Most of the times they just bark at the top of their lungs and growl and snarl and jump all over each other. But right now, oh boy, the boy is just <coughs> prancing around. Oh, he barked. He's a barky boy sometimes. And now he decides he wants to start something with all these girls. Yes, sir, he says, I can take you. I can take two of you. I don't care. Somebody get up and play with me. Don't just lie around, you fat little things. Your tummies are tight. You want to go to sleep, but I want to play. And he may want me to get him out and play with him, which I will do if he doesn't quiet down because uh, his sisters obviously are wanting to sleep. They're getting ready. And if he doesn't calm down too and go to sleep, then I'll get him out and hold him until he does. And I'll play with him and talk to him. I try to teach him as many words as I can. With border collies, you can teach them just about any word and make them into sentences. Oh, there he goes again. He thinks, well, maybe I can get her. Because at least she's on her feet. Does anybody want to fight? No, apparently no one does. Everybody's going to go to sleep. Oh, they're so sweet. Yes, they are. So cute and cuddly. Well, I'm going to let them go and take their nap. And i got to go give Rosie her ham. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.